Over the next month or so, we will be surrounded by one of nature's most powerful medicines, perhaps also the best known weed in the world, the dandelion. They are everywhere. Nature, in her infinite wisdom, has surrounded us with tools to help address the healing challenges of our time. Dandelions is perhaps one of the best examples of this. Dandelions will grow in the harshest environments, back alleys, city sidewalks, city cracks, but in essence, everywhere, each spring and summer, dandelions emerge, trace and support the footsteps of our humanity, where we are, they are. They have been there for all of human history. Dandelions as both food and medicine predate the development of writing. Its Latin name, Taraxacum, derived from the Greek, which means disease remedy. Classically, in natural medicine, dandelion is used as a liver detoxifier impacting liver, gallbladder, bowel function. It's used to help balance hormones, improve skin conditions, and support the immune system. As food, it is both cleansing, it is anti-inflammatory, and it is super nutritive. It is one of the most ideal greens. So here's some of the medicines that are found in dandelion. Sesquiterpene lactones. This is the bitter. If you were to bite on this root, that bitter taste is this sesquiterpene lactone. It's anti-cancerous, it has anti-inflammatory properties. It is where some of the best medicine is found. There's terpenoid saponins. These are adaptogenics. They help the body better respond to its environment. Polysaccharides. These are key intermediaries in the immune reaction. They are immune stimulating. There's inulin. It's demulsin, which help, means that it helps coat and heal our digestive lining and other linings in, in the human body. It also acts as a probiotic. There are vitamins, there's minerals, there's carotenoids, there's fatty acids, you name it, they're in here. In general, the leaves impact the kidneys more, whereas the roots impact the liver and the gallbladder. The leaves and flowers can be used or eaten as salads or used to make teas. In general, if you're making a tea, use one to three teaspoons per cup. This is true whether you're using the leaves or whether you're using the root. The root should be boiled longer, however, to extract the medicine. This is known as a decoction, while the leaves can just be infused in hot water. Now, people will often gripe about the cost of health food. Here it is, free, wild, and everywhere. So before you complain about the weeds in your yard, take a closer look. You may want to throw them on your plate with a little olive oil and some lemon. Till next time, be well.